In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to pull the Microsoft SQL Server Linux image off of Docker Hub so that we can run Microsoft SQL Server and run it here in this GUI SQL Pro for Microsoft SQL Server for Mac OS. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in doing that, that's what we're going to do. Anyways, I'm here in Docker Hub and we're going to pull this image. So let's click on Microsoft SQL Server Linux. This is what I typed in to get it. Here's the link. Um, anyways, so this is the image. Uh, officially from Microsoft and again you can pull it I already have it I'll show you guys I have it right here uh, I'll just run that command again docker image ls and here it is I have it right here pulled um, run it one more time just to clear that up cool uh, it takes almost two gigs so just be aware of that you should allocate a good amount of memory for docker running in the background um, Anyways, so once we have that, we're going to look at how to use it. So in order to actually start an instance, uh, we want SQL Server 2017. So I'm going to get this one, and I'll explain what this means. I'm just going to copy this exact command. So this is saying docker run, this dash E is just an extra argument flag, or just any argument flag. And this says accept user licensing agreement. Then we're going to say the SQL administrator password. This is the default, and it has to be 8. Um, eight characters or more has to follow a few more rules um, and yeah I think it'll show you include at least eight characters at least three or four categories so here's all the rules about it uh, anyways uh, so with that um, and then we're, what we're saying here is we're mapping uh, port 1433 locally to the port that is um, being run by this image Microsoft SQL Server uh, through Docker um, and then latest, you can see this is one of the flags that we can pass, which is up here, latest, and this is the latest version of the release. Uh, cool. And you can pass all these other ones. So let's make sure this works. Let's run this here. Okay, it's going to give us that process ID. Go ahead and see this by running Docker PS. And we're going to see it's up for five seconds. It's been up. Uh, we can also see Docker PSA to see which containers have been up. Um, so again, this was exited, looks like a while ago, uh, created 24 hours ago. Awesome. So let's make sure our container is still up. And then I will guys, I will show you guys how to work this. So now we'll go into SQL Pro for MS SQL. And I'll show you guys how to connect to a local database right here. So let's just do continue trial, uh, right? And we see localhost is online. Let me remove it. And I will do new. I'm going to type localhost here as my server name, server administrator is my uh, login, and let me get my password real quick. Password is going to be this, your strong password, you can make it whatever you want. And I'm going to put that in here. So now we're online, we're up and running. Um, so you'll notice though, we do not have any databases. What I can do, I guess I can just go ahead and create a database, right? Database uh, tester. And we can run this. And what is it saying? Unknown object. Oh, sorry. Create database. All right. Run this. It's completed. Let's go back and refresh this. Now we have our tester database, and we're all good to go. We can then go make. Um, we can go make a table, whatever we want. Um, products. Products. And go fill in all those fields. ID and We'll just have it be the primary key. And then we'll close out of that. And then we'll say select all from products. All right. Select all from DBO. Dot products. Select all. Or we'll say use tester. Okay. And then we'll say select all from products. All right. Cool. So that's what we're getting. And then we'll just say insert and do products um, do, 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 do. values one all right cool and then we'll run this command again and there we go all right guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, and then finally if we want to kill our if we want to kill our docker process running it's still up we can say docker kill and then I could give it this ID right here. So we'll start to say 25E6 Docker kill. 
and this should kill. And we say Docker PS. No, it's no longer running. And as you'll see here, if we go back and refresh this, no longer we should not have access. Um, any we should not have access anymore to that connection. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and see you guys in the next video. Take.